Can we- <clears throat> God, I'm so tired. Can we talk about this? In the history of this show, we've covered most bases. Top laners, bot laners, mid laners, off tanks, mages, cubans, etc. The primary focus of the series has always been to put the spotlight on characters that can carry the hardest and unfortunately that means that support and junglers didn't really get love. Supports have to hold the hand of the ADC to make sure he doesn't get lost in the supermarket and junglers, well junglers just have to put out whatever fires the monkeys on their team start. Most carry junglers required a high level of skill to be utilized correctly and relied more on the player's ability than the kit of the champion. That's not OP, that's genuine skill. Lee Sin and Kha'Zix mains, I see you, y'all keep doing good. But you know who's insanely hot? and doesn't require skill? Vi? God, she's hot! Vi stands for violence? More like Vi stands for... Step on me. <clears throat> anyway, Vi is such a monster because her ganks work 260% of the time. This number is proven. I'll give you $7 if you don't question it. And the reason why is because it's so hard to escape her. Pairing her practically global dash with blast plants makes overextending just a little bit an invitation to be fisted. Oh. Oh god, you can just imagine what I put on screen. I better delete that before Big Brother thinks I'm weird. Anyway, alongside Chilling Smite, Vi has not one, not two, but Trace Kosas to keep you from ever seeing your family again. And that's just the beginning. Vi Zolt is a point and click AoE knockup ability that deals up to 600 damage, which wouldn't be a big deal except for the fact that the rest of her combo is almost instant, dealing this much damage to your carry before you even have a chance to pray. Now the one shortcoming that Vi has is the fact that in order for her to have a burst at all, she needs to build damage dealing items and therefore will get blown up whenever she engages. Or at least, that's how it used to be. Until this! What is this? Vi now gets a shield for up to 65% upon engage, not including her late game GA. She becomes an unkillable glass cannon. That's not a glass cannon at all! That's a... That's just a fucking cannon! On top of that, her ult is an unstoppable point and click ability that can only be cancelled by unplugging the servers in Chicago. Or Brisbane. Or Tokyo? I don't really know where the servers are in other regions. If that doesn't tilt you off the face of the earth, how about this? It also gets to a 48 second cooldown. So you better hope that Vi's in a good mood or your asshole is gonna be larger than the size of an sitting on a apple. Sign me the fuck up. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Can We Talk About This? If there's something else you want to talk about, leave it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get to it. Also, Daily December is really fun. I'm having a blast just playing games for you guys and dicking around. If you guys want to see some of that stuff, look here. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Just click the fucking link.